Okay, let's set up rebuild our motor. So you want to make sure that you have everything clean. Take off uh, your screen right here, clean it all up. Take off uh, the screen in the bottom, clean it all out. Uh, you want to make sure that this doesn't fall over. <laughs> um, make sure that your thrust washer is on your water pump shaft before you put it back on. Okay. Then, You want to clean these off real well, obviously, and spray just a little bit of WD-40 on it. Don't spray a lot, just like you would like on a shovel or uh, something like that. Take a little bit of Permatex. Okay, take your gasket, make sure that all your stuff lines up properly. Well, as I said, make sure that your thrush washer is on your water pump shaft. Okay, you have your crank. I already had uh, a friend help me torque it down and hold it. It's going to be hard to do by yourself, but it's 15 uh, pounds and then 60 degrees. Uh, make sure that the nipples of your rods are out. You'll see on this side right here. See how the nipples are out facing out this way. All right, once you have your crankshaft assembled, Everything's good. Make sure you put a lot of oil, you know, on your bearings when you do this, and uh, you want to oil up the the crankshaft itself, the case bearings that you're about to put it in. You know, you want to make sure that you have a lot of oil. Oil is never a bad thing on a brand new build. Uh, your Permatex should be dry now. On this, you can cut your tops. That way, you can insert your crank. Wouldn't be a bad idea, just squirt some oil. It's just a little bit tricky to do. I don't want to damage nothing. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I know how to work on motors and I understand the basics of everything. But I am definitely no expert when it comes to Can-Ams. I know a lot about them. That doesn't make me an expert. So, we're kind of learning together. These are 10 millimeter bolts here.
And next, we're gonna have to put in all the rest of our eight millimeter bolts. I'm gonna pause for just a second. Okay, so once you put in all your bolts, don't forget the two inside your uh, jackets here, the small ones. You just wanna tighten up everything, kinda of do it in a sequence. These aren't in the case. Those three are not case bolts. Don't forget about the tens on the top. Next, take your thrush washer, put on your shaft, slide your gear on, ooh, some hair or something on that. Take your pin, okay, spin it until you get it to slide in with the water pump shaft. Okay. Cam chains. I don't know, cam guides first. I think it's a five millimeter. Once you got your guide on, you want to put your chain back in, uh, put your horseshoe clip on. Okay, and then the uh, magneto is next. Make sure you put a little bit of oil on it. Make sure to put some Loctite on your bolts.
Install your guide. Alright, I mistakenly put the chain guide on first before I put the chain on. You have to put the chain on first before the guide on this side. Then you want to put a little bit of Thumbtex on when you put the base gaskets. Okay, then you want to take your jug. Make sure you got a little bit of oil on everything. Okay, make sure that the rings, the openings are not close to each other. <clears throat> 